I've been meaning to do a defending tutorial and I've got my friend Dawson here who's going to help me out. So we're going to demonstrate today. He's going to play the attacker, I'm going to play the defender. And I just got a couple of tips, a couple of things I want to make sure that you're actually doing every time you play. Okay, so first thing, Dawson, why don't you go right over there for me, is closing down. Okay, I want you to get in the habit of closing down guys a lot quicker. Don't give him time to play. What most of us are doing is he's receiving the ball and then we're slowly jockeying, slowly closing that space down or even worse, we're giving him space. We're just waiting over here and if he has the ball, I'm just waiting. I'm like trying to cut a passing angle or something. I'm not closing him down. Okay, this is very dangerous, especially if he's a skilled player and he can pick a pass or set up a teammate. If I don't close him down quickly, he can hurt my team. So first things first, play me ball. I want you to close down much quicker, okay? So I'm trying to close down this space much quicker. Good, okay, once I get here, then yes, you can jockey, you can get a bit lower to the ground. Okay, and I want you to get lower to the ground. But number one, you have to close down that space a lot quicker. Just let me fix this quick. Good, so play me the ball back. Okay, so number one, close more intensely. Now, if he has a bad touch, okay, I'm there right away, I can pick that up. And sometimes you wanna anticipate that bad touch. If you're playing against a player, say like a defender, you're closing him down as an attacker, and you know he's gonna have a heavy touch, you wanna get there right away, because you're gonna win that ball more times than not. Okay, if he's a really skilled player, and I know he's gonna have a really good touch, then I need to be a little more cautious. Okay, but I'm closing down quick, now I'm here. Now I'm just trying to stay in front of him. So Dawson, come to this side. Okay, so when he has the ball, again, playing with the ball, Close him down quick. Okay, now when I'm here, I'm getting low to the ground and I'm really focusing on staying in front of him. I don't even necessarily need to make a tackle. Yes, I want you to make a tackle, but you will win the ball more times than not just by staying in front of him. So if he moves this way, okay, I wanna stay in front of him. If he moves back the other way, just stay in front of him, low to the ground. When he shows too much of the ball, so say he does have a bad touch, then I'm gonna step in, then I'm gonna be hard. I'm gonna step in and I'm gonna make my tackle. Okay, Dawson, come back over here. Okay, so first thing, close down that space quicker. Be more intense, expect bad touches. Anticipate that ball as well. So I don't have someone to pass to Dawson, but imagine someone was passing him the ball. I don't wanna arrive after he's taken his first touch and then I'm there. Okay, if I can, you wanna anticipate that ball's coming from someone else playback. So imagine his teammate passed him the ball. Okay, I wanna get there right on his touch. Boom. Then if he has a bad touch, I can get there, I can clean the ball up. Or if he's gonna try to beat me, I'm ready, I'm in his feet right now. Okay, I'm forcing him to make a decision. So I'm either tackling him or I'm forcing him to go backwards. Now when he gets turned backwards, play the ball. And actually come on this side so everyone can see. Okay, so when he's in front of me, yes, I want to be really low. I need to give him a little bit of space, especially if he's a skilled player. But I don't want to give him too much space that he can make a pass or dribble past me easily. Okay, but when he gets turned, so say the ball's played him and he turns. Here I want you to get really tight, okay? Do not give him a chance to breathe. This is when you need to get low to the ground. I need to almost like push him out of the field. Okay, and I can win the ball like that. If he's not strong on the ball, I'm gonna win it. But when he turns his back to you, take advantage of that. I wanna force him backwards, or I wanna force him to make a mistake, okay? But that's a great time for me to win the ball. So if he plays, he gets turned. Good, now we're tight, now we're tight. I'm all over him, I'm pushing him out of bounds. Okay, not fouling, but I'm all over him. But look at my body positioning. Okay, am I defending up here like this? Trying to put a little toe in? Okay, no, it's down here. This is how you defend properly, on the ground. Yes, it risks the chance of me getting nutmeg, but if he does nutmeg me, play me through. Okay, I'm here, I'm low to the ground, I can turn quickly. If you're up on your heels when you're defending, and he makes a cut this way, okay, it's really tough for me to stay with him. So get lower to the ground. The last thing I wanna say is I need to go hard in when I do have the chance to win the ball, okay? So Dawson has the ball closing quickly, I'm getting in here. When I do have that chance, okay, I wanna step through, if I'm making that tackle, I'm getting low, I'm stepping through, I'm pushing through the ball, I'm pushing through the man. Okay, don't be afraid to get a little bit of body with your tackles. I'm not, I'm not telling you to be dirty, but I'm telling you to go hard. 
If you go in weaker, if he goes in harder than me, he's gonna win the ball. Dawson, go get that ball, come back. Play. Okay, if he goes in harder than me, I just put a foot in. Let's go in for a 50-50, say. Okay, if I just put a toe in, come and tackle the ball, and he goes in hard. If I just put a toe in like this, okay, or I'm, I'm really scared to put my foot in there, I'm gonna get injured, I'm gonna get hurt. But if we both go in and I go in harder than him, okay, maybe the ball bounces out, but I'm going through him, okay, I'm gonna win that battle more times than not. So think about those four things. Justin, come over here for me, please. Okay, first thing, close quicker. Okay, close that space quicker. Get lower to the ground with your body positioning. When you do have the chance to go for the tackle, go in hard, don't be a wuss, go in hard. Win that ball, take the man with it. Okay, and the last thing was, if he gets turned, I really don't wanna give him any space. Okay, if he's in front of me and he has control of the ball and he's coming at me, then yes, I need to jockey a bit. When I see that opportunity, I'm gonna go in hard, play the ball back, but if he gets turned, Yes, take advantage of that, okay? Get low to the ground, so if he does turn one way or the other, I can stay with him, but force him backwards. Okay, so those are just four things I want you to think about the next time you're defending. But number one, be more intense, okay? Enjoy defending, enjoy closing people down, enjoy going in hard for tackles, enjoy winning the ball back for your team. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and come back tomorrow for another video.